Yeah. All well, all fine, kick it with a Meiji. Come and have a good time, kick it with a Meiji. The grandkids and grandma, kick it with a Meiji. We in here, we in line, just to see a Meiji. All well, all fine, kick it with a Meiji. Come and have a good time, kick it with a Meiji. The grandkids and grandma, kick it with a Meiji. We in here, we in line, just to see a Meiji. Hello, today is another upload for a head wrap tutorial. I'm going to show you guys another tutorial using leggings. We're just going to use some gray leggings to go with the nice, just plain uh, V V neck um, tee that I have. Same pattern, same color. See how nice that is. It matches perfectly. So, I actually have an appointment. And I washed my hair last night. So, I need to leave this out so it can dry a bit. This part. Like, uh, the part that's close to my scalp is nice and dry. But my ends tend to take a long time because I don't leave them out flowing. I actually keep tying them up in the bun and I just when I feel like it's dry and it, then I'll reposition my bun and you know if I especially if I have to run out and stuff because I still need to look presentable which is it, it brings me to the fact that these um, tutorials for head ties are so accommodating they're accommodating for the perfect job interview and I know that was years ago when um, Afrocentric was like kind of banned from the office place or workplace um, but now we've gotten so creative in the way that we tie our head um, the turbans our locks and everything like that because locks were considered gaudy um, so we had to come up with ways of being creative and it's not nothing that we made up head wrap and turbans um, galas they have been around for centuries our ancestors have been tying their heads, um, their hair, their locks for long times. You see it with the Arabs. You see it with um, Muslims. You see it with Africans. So this is nothing new. We're just getting creative in the way that we're tying it and making them very versatile. So again, today I do have an appointment and I want to go ahead and get into this tutorial. So. Again, you're going to need a pair of leggings. I'm just showing you guys that this is, in fact, a pair of leggings. Um, I normally find mine like in Walmart, online sometimes with Amazon, when they have like so many in different colors for a set price. Or just like on clearance when I'm going through any store and I find them like $5 or cheaper, I'm grabbing them. Um, I used to, before, um, sometimes... I would cut them, like cut the legs and make like a lock sock when my hair was growing. But now that my hair is really long, um, I'm using them full leggings now. So we're going to go ahead and get into this tutorial. Um, you can go and grab yourself some fabric or preferably some leggings so you can follow along and learn how to tie your hair with um, leggings as well. So. I'll wait for you. Meet me right back here in a few moments. Okay, the first thing we want to do, guys, and I'm going to go ahead and talk you through this. <laughs> music in the back, of course, but got to have my music. So you want to, I use the tag and put it on the back just as I would if I'm putting them on my legs. Oh, that's just something I do. I just put tag to the back. I don't think it really matters, but I'm so comfortable with it, so it's a habit. So I'm going to go ahead and Put this right over my bun take my two legs toss them in the back right because I want to work with the front so here you go that's your waist <laughs> see the midline from the back seam you want to make that in the center somewhat and you want to make sure that this thing is nice and snug in the back the way you want it to be and you're gonna grab the fronts the two sides okay I showed you this before oh Sorry, showed you this before in another upload. So you just want to take the first side and... Okay, ladies, 
You're starting off with crisscrossing the material across the front of your head so you can give it a V-shaped effect. As you can see, I am taking that waistline and tucking it up higher so we can have it completely hidden. I just shifted the entire wrap to the middle of my head to make sure that V is centered. You can leave yours on the side if that's what you like. So now we're just going to make sure we have the material falling the way I need it to. Never letting go of that piece on the very front of my head. We are going to start with one of the pant legs. And I'm just going to take the other one and toss it over the front of the head so I can get the material in the back situated. And you just want to cross it over. Once you get to this point, you can go ahead and let go of that material underneath because this pant leg on top is nice and secure and it's holding it in place. You just want to make some necessary adjustments at this point by pulling and tucking on your material to make sure that you are satisfied with the way that it's laying on your crown. Because remember, you will be wearing this style for quite some time. You want it to be completely comfortable. So right now we are going to start with that second pant leg. We are going to just make the necessary adjustments. And then we are going to wrap that pant leg in the opposite direction. So this time we're going from left to right. You just want to wrap it around the opposite way of your first pant leg. And you're going to give it a heightened effect so that as you can see I'm tucking it in the very top. This is what it's looking like so far. Now ladies I'm going to give you some options for the front hairline. So as you can see we have the crisscross motion. I'm just pushing it back to show you you can give a little hairline action. This is what it looks like when you turn from side to side. If you don't like that, you can pull it down and just give it a continuous flow around your forehead. But not to worry, the crisscross is still there. Because it's a layered effect, you can manipulate this fabric and make it fall exactly how you like. As I told you guys before, I like mine pulled down and over the ear. So I am making the necessary adjustments that I like for my face. Ladies, if your face is already beat, <laughs> you can just switch out your earrings to make sure that you are satisfied with this look. So ladies, this is a bonus. I'm just going to take out that top pant leg. Here I am, I'm just twist, 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 twisting all the way to the end. Now I'm just going to wrap it around just as we did before and I'm going to find a nice place to tuck it. I'm just getting everything situated and here we go. Voila! Look at this beautiful outcome here ladies. A two in one. Just wanted to show you that there are several options to wearing one turban. I am in love with the outcome of today's look. Thank you for tuning in, and as always, love and respect. Thank you for kicking it with Mr. Meiji. Oh yeah, you kicking it with Mr. Meiji. Thank you for kicking it with Mr. Meiji. Yeah. Oh yeah, you kicking it with Mr. Meiji. Yeah. Thank you for kicking it with Mr. Meiji. Oh yeah, you kicking it with Mr. Meiji. Thank you for kicking it with Mr. Meiji. Yeah. Oh yeah, you kicking it with Mr. Meiji. Yeah. Thank you for kicking it with Mr. Meiji. Oh yeah, you kicking it with Mr. Meiji. Thank you for kicking it with Mr. Meiji. Yeah. Oh yeah, you kicking it with Mr. Meiji. Yeah.